In this video, we'll be looking at inserting citations. So if you're doing a research paper, usually you will have references that you need to have in your document. We're going to look at using the references feature in Microsoft Word to insert citations. So I'm just going to type something here. For example, computers are very useful for productivity. And I'm just going to insert a citation here. So I'm going to go to my references menu and uh, I'm going to click on references and in the citations and bibliography section we can see a number of options including insert citation, manage sources, style, bibliography, etc. Uh, we're going to come back to this section here because uh, depending on the style formatting style for our references that we're using would have to change this so currently it's MLA but we're going to come back to that so we can go ahead and click on insert citation here and we can choose the option add new source so we're going to click on add new source and uh, depending on the type of source that you're working with for your reference you can actually choose or select that from this drop down list here where you have type of source so it could be a book a section of a book it could be a journal article other articles um, conference proceedings reports website electronic sources etc uh, we're going to keep it simple for this illustration we're going to use a book so I'm just going to click on book and you notice you have a number of different sections here that you need to fill out for that book. So you have the author of the book, title, the year it was published, city, publisher, uh, etc. And if you want to get a little bit more detail, we can click on this option on the left that says show all bibliography fields and you'll have a number of other additional fields that will be required but we're not going to we're not going to use all of this today we're going to keep it simple so we're going to uncheck this option and I'm going to go back to where we have author on the left there is an option for edit so I'm going to click on edit and then here is where you would put the author's um, information as released a name so last name for example, John Doe, so I'll say uh, Doe, it's the last name and John, and click on Add. And uh, now I can click on OK. Uh, title of the book, probably Computers Are Fun, or Computers Are Great. The year it was published, let's say 2017 city let's say the city of london publisher let's say person okay so after we've added all of this we can now click on ok and, and this is our citation here that is inserted for us currently we have the mla format but this is um this can be changed. This is something that differs depending on the particular program that you're working with or probably just your instructor's um, preferences. So you can always change that particular format if so desired. So we'll leave it on MLA for now. On your bibliography page, so we're going to insert another page. So I'm just going to go to my insert option here and go to a blank page and this will be my reference page so I'm going to have all my references here so I'm going to go back to references and I'm going to click on bibliography the option that says bibliography 
and uh, well, you have a number of different options: bibliography, references, works cited. Uh, so if any one of these will do. We're going to click on bibliography, and you notice here if I scroll up a bit that you now have the bibliography inserted for you, and you're seeing uh, the reference, or if you have more than one references, you see all the references that are used in your documents. This is a very uh, powerful tool, especially if you don't like the idea of writing out your references. You can always use Microsoft Word to assist you with that. So, hope you've learned something new. So that's it for inserting citation and also your reference page or bibliography page as well.